guys so in my video yesterday i was showing some little wooden embellishments that i purchased from rayleigh cow's shop they were little um little flowers and little leaves um it's it's the previous video to this one and in there i said i was going to make some embellishments for a nature or floral themed journal i don't know which um, that i was making and i said i would show you a sneaky peek of that journal cover um, at the end of the video and then oops i totally forgot so <laughs> this was the journal cover i was talking about and um if you follow my little community page the youtube community page or facebook um you would have seen seen um a picture of this already i think it may have been exactly as is but maybe without the green sari silk and the polka dot frame around the butterfly so um i actually started this journal oh i don't even know how long ago maybe nine or ten months ago <laughs> i have a whole shelf of um journals and other projects not just journals of stuff that i start and i work on like a thousand things at once and they go on the shelf and then um yeah i pick them up year like not years but months later to finish so this was one of them that's been sitting there and it's only the cover so far i had done all the stitching i think at the time i shelved it because i wasn't happy with this i, I put a little um corrugated cardboard um on there with a butterfly and i thought it was too plain at the time and i was going to pluck the butterfly off and um maybe put some layers but now that i've come back to it months later i actually quite like that it's pretty plain because the cover is quite busy so all i've done is i did put this green sari silk that i got from sue white's etsy shop and um I'll put the link to anyone's videos or Etsy shops or whatever I mention um, in the comments box below. I always do. Um, yeah, I just added some green sari silk and I just put a little thing around, like a frame around the corrugated cardboard because I felt it looked too stuck on how it was before. So that's the one that i said i'd give a sneak peek yesterday so this week i'm going to work on finishing this journal oh and i added the closures which was some of the green sari silk as well um so that's it i think i was going to put three signatures in this one from memory and i think it was going to be a hidden signature but anyway this is my raggedy journal and i hope to finish it this week so this is the one yeah yesterday sorry i always say i'll show something at the end and then i'll forget <laughs> and then someone pointed that out to me on facebook last night okay so what i was going to show you is a little haul from reverse garbage um you may know that i've been looking after my elderly father with dementia and also two little grandkitties um aged one and a half and three and a half so i've had my hands full and i haven't been posting a lot of videos or doing much crafting but i've doing been doing odds and pods here and there and on the weekend <laughs> i left the kitties with my husband and i went to reverse garbage so if you don't know reverse garbage it's just a recycle center um i'll put the link to their website down below if you want to learn a bit more about it but anyway um I found a few books so it's only a small haul I think I only purchased six books they didn't have a lot there that day or the stuff they did have um, is stuff that I may not use or was too expensive anyway so I did purchase this actually I got two of these and they're the biggies <laughs> so Webster's Dictionaries and um, the reason I got both of them is I love these type. Um, when you pull them apart, oh my gosh, I've got no room on my desk. So when you pull these ones apart, 
they stay double page I'm pretty sure because I've had one of these before but oh maybe not this one I'll see when I pull it apart but the one that, one I had of these before you could keep them double page which I like because you can put them in journals that way up um, it, but also I like that they've got the little pictures So, see, I like that they've got the little pictures. Ooh, ah, that looks cockroachy. Um, and the pages are quite, quite yellowed. But also, you know, dictionary pages are normally really thin. These are quite thick. So. The last one of these I had, I coffee dyed some as well and they came up really nice. But I thought that was a great find. So I got two of those. I found this. Lyric Gems of Scotland. Actually, let me see what year those were. Oh, you know, I always look, but I'm too blind. I should look before I even start the video. I don't think these are too, too old. Um, 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 yeah, 1979. So, not too old. Um, I found this, Lyric Gems of Scotland. It's got, it's always in my way. It's got the embossed cover, and I love the size of this. Um, it's it's regular size, this you know, regular book size in width, but the length is quite long, and I I really like that. So I'm going to um, keep this to make a journal cover eventually. I like that it's um, in good condition with a little bit of scuffing. I might sand down the edges a little to make it look a little bit older as well. But it's really, really pretty. So it's got some handwriting in there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. To Miss Marjorie Lock. Marjorie. <laughs> With all best wishes from Mr. and Mrs. Brody. 36. Campy Road, I think. Musselburg, I can't read it. Scotland, 6th of July 1948. So it was actually from Scotland that someone gave it as well, but you can see it's all um, aged, yellowed on the front. And all the pages are yellowed. Thought it was a lovely little, little book. I've got stacks of music paper. <laughs> I was selling it in my um, Etsy shop, but um, the packs I made up have sold out. I had it really cheap um, just to get rid of it. Um, but the packs I listed have sold out. I should make some more look this was meant for me bonnie wood although they spelt bonnie different i spell it b-o-n-n-y <laughs> that's so cute oh it was meant for me isn't it cute i love the pages are so so yellowed anyway so i got that i might um I hate pulling apart stuff like this because it's in such good nick. But um, I do collect old books, but I don't think I'd put this in with it because, I don't know, it's just music paper and I've just got so many. So I might, um, I'll pull that apart and um, maybe put, I don't want to do any more music paper packs. 
I get bored doing the same thing and listing the same thing. I might um make some more vintage paper packs because the last ones I had, I think I had 10 packs I made up and they sold out quite quick and quite a few people have asked for some. But um, some of the books that I used, I've used all the pages. So I, I might make up some more, but with some different books. I um, also found this one, Roses. Um, I don't think this was very old. I mean, it's got a lot of yellowing around the edges, but... You know, can't see, too blind. But anyway, um, the reason I got this one, look at these in the back. Okay, I really like these tables. But, oh wait, can you see? Characteristics of roses. It's got all these characteristics. Duh, duh, duh. I love these pages for collaging. But what I really liked was, look at these pictures, aren't they beautiful? And they're all roses. I just thought they were gorgeous. Wait, let me zoom you a little. Aren't they beautiful? And I thought um, I can either cut them around the edges or just cut the actual squares because they're all in little squares and make some journaling cards or use them on embellishments just thought they're so pretty really gorgeous And I like that uh, they're all different sizes. The only thing is um, it's got roses on both sides. So I'd have to pick which ones I like the most. Because I don't scan and print anything. Um, I think there's enough books with pictures out there in the world to um already to use no need to scan look at that isn't that gorgeous anyway so that's the back half of the book the first half of the book um is just floral arrangements and that's pretty cool Anyway, that was that one. Okay, this one. This one is huge. Let me zoom you back down a little. Oh, I don't want you to see my messy desk. Actually, you've seen it before. This book is quite big. A collection of Australian wildflower illustrations. Patricia Weir. But this is beautiful how it's been done. Oh my gosh, can you see? It's so dark in here. For all lovers of Australian wildflowers. But look, just how, I don't know, just, you know, the decoration and the font of the writing. So beautiful. And when was this? 1984. Is it? I think it was first published 54. This is an 84 print. So volume one, The Hills. Look, isn't it gorgeous? It it you know, it's got the handwriting style. Look at this. 
family Janus species. Really beautiful. Ferns. Anyway, let me do a flick. Otherwise, you'll be here all day. How long have I been already? 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. Look, isn't that beautiful? Look at those. Blue pin cushion. Really beautiful. I love this book. Eucalyptus. Just love how it's all um, laid out as well. Anyway, so I thought these would be great in some um, botanical journals. Kind of don't want to pull it apart though. It's so nice, but um, it's not something that I'd hold on to. And yeah, I won't. I won't be scanning it. Or maybe I should just put some. I don't know. Maybe I should put some pages just into my shop as is. I don't know. Maybe let me know in the comments if anyone's interested. Um, I can always pull this apart to put pages in my shop. It's really pretty. And the cover feels like, oh, it is. It's fabric as well. So I might use um, this cover for a flowish journal. So pretty. And the last one I got. Oh, this is my favourite. Oh no, my power on my phone is going to die. See, rookie error still. Sorry, let me just plug my power in. That's better. Okay. Been on YouTube one year now and I still do things like... <laughs> Um, uh, low battery. Okay. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I love it. Pear Cyclopedia. Okay. Now I zoomed too close because I like to hold it up to show you. But look at the spine. It's all beaten up. Look at that. I love it. These are my favourite types of books. Um, I don't think I can pull this one apart. I know it's quite damaged, but it's so gorgeous. I just love it. I think this is one that may have to go on my old book shelf. Anyway, um, I don't know... Is pears in other countries as well? I don't know, but in Australia, pears soap was one that we grew up with. It, it was the, <laughs> I just remember the bar that was um, brownish in colour. It was transparent, not brown, like honey colour. And it was transparent and it smelt beautiful. I think you can still buy it today, but um, anyway, I, I just think it's really gorgeous. And inside... See, the pages and that are quite loose, but isn't this beautiful? Whoops. Sorry, jiggled you. Soap makers by appointment to their majesties, the king and queen. Look at the old ad. <laughs> it's an ad. From 1789. The book itself isn't that old. I mean, this one's July 1931. So, um, 
yeah, I mean, I suppose it's, it is pretty old, but not as old as some of the ones I've got in my collection. See, it's quite damaged, but I still don't think I can pull it apart. Got some, see the pages, look at the aging on them. It's so gorgeous. And the pages are the uh, matte and they're not brittle at all. But there's some beautiful pictures in there. Look at this, Pears Atlas of the World. And it's just got little maps in there. I've never heard of this, um... My husband looked it up online. Um, I had never heard of Pears Cyclopedia before. Anyway, there's all little sections and dictionary of business, sports and pastime. Dictionary of gardening. <laughs> See? I don't know why why do pears soap put out this um this book synonyms and antonyms there's dictionary pages in there as well but this is what I really love in the back here look at these look at these pages Oh my gosh, and there's an old calendar somewhere. Yeah. Oops. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Look at this ad. The dirty boy. The little <laughs> fellow hadn't washed. He wishes now he had. Once he's used pears soap, why then? He won't think washing is bad. <laughs> it's so cool. I love old ads. But anyway, um, that was it. So that was my little um book haul. Not too many, six books, but um, which is good because I have way too many books as it is. But um, I thought they were all great finds. You can never have enough music paper. And these big dictionaries. I might um, pull these apart and put some in my vintage paper packs. And some maybe just I'll put packs of just the dictionary pages in my Etsy. Oh, look. And this little guy, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I kind of want to keep him, but I've got way too many books, um, even old books. My shelves are full. I don't want to pull him apart, though. I don't know. I'll have to think on this guy. But um, anyway, that's it. And um, thanks for watching.